All right, let's check out the next move here. So as you can see, he pretty much ignored my units and just went straight for my crystals. And now I'm in a really terrible position to deal with it because my last move was horrible. Now, I'm actually recording this after the fact because uh, when this move went down, I was so tilted by how bad my move was and so upset that um, I decided not to re record my thoughts. But um, fortunately, I, I managed to continue on for the later videos, so um, you're not missing too much. But um, for this move, basically anything that I could have done last round that didn't involve moving my medic on the attack tile would have been better than what I ended up doing. Because now I have left the gem tile very open and he's able to sit that warrior on there. And it's tricky for me to, to deal with it um, and, and be able to get that warrior off of there. Now, the bottom crystal, I believe, is in execute range now, um, is, which is what makes this so difficult. Is because now, even though he doesn't have any tidal waves, I've got to defend both crystals again. If he goes, uh, all he has to do is execute the top crystal next turn by hitting it twice with the warrior on the gem tile. And then the bottom crystal, I believe, is down to... I'm not exactly sure what how much damage is on it exactly um, at this point in time. But um, it, it's it's in execute range. I think it might be like a 1,000 or something. Um, so if, if he goes and just executes the top crystal, then I have to fight both warriors um, to keep the, the bottom crystal uh, safe from a single attack. So strategically, this is pretty catastrophic. Um, and it didn't have to be. Um, any sort of more good move last round would have avoided me this situation. But I'm not going to give up. Uh, the game's not lost yet. I've still got a little bit of life on my crystals. And what I need to do is I need to block his route to my top crystal as well as deal with the warrior on the gem tile. Um, and the best way to do that is I need to block the adjacent tiles. Now I could move my demo man up to the, um, to the top tile there. But um, it would take four shots to kill um, the warrior there. And it's better for me if that demo man is actually on the attack tile. Um, because then if he heals up his warrior or what have you, um, then it will uh, die faster the next round. Um, so... Really, the only choice I have is to move my medic up that is on the attack tile top to the top right, move my demo man down to the attack tile, and then attack three times. And at least this will force him to uh, leave my top crystal alone for this round because he will he, he will not be able to get the warrior to execute the top crystal. And he can kill the bottom crystal no problem. But um, I'm going the plan is to make my my last stand around my top crystal. And the the best way to do that is to um, 
have that range three unit on the gem tile and hope that you know I can kill that warrior on the gem tile and then hold off the the backs the back warrior long enough um, so that once he loses that second the the, the last warrior then um, he has to go back to getting all the HP off the crystal and execute doesn't become a factor anymore so um, that, that's a potential way for me to survive this but um, for now I just have to survive this round with as little damage as I can get away with um, and, and that's the move so I'll uh, resume the the proper commentary with the next video Sorry about that, but uh, that's what happens sometimes. See you then.